Every Thursday on TMJ4, we get you caught up on everything happening in Racine County in partnership with the team at the Racine County Eye. We're joined this afternoon by web editor Lauren Lamoureux. Lauren, it's so great to have you with us on the News at 4. Let's get started talking about sports with the Racine Raiders' big win over the Illinois Cowboys. Did you hear what the head coach, Wilbur Kennedy, had to say that led to this win? I did. So the Cowboys lost earlier in the season with a 14-12 final score on June 5th. And it was a really tough loss, but they obviously bounced back in Saturday's game. They won 44 to 14, even with losing two of their key players uh, due to injuries during that game. And Coach Kennedy said that getting healthy on the offensive line helped lead these lead the team to an easy victory. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, two games ago, they were down nine linemen who were injured, unable to play. And so this was definitely part of the success factor for them. Wow. So the Raiders are going to hit the road for the next three consecutive games. Um, when their next game will be at home, uh, do you think that will be a really big deal for them? Because they're going to be on the road for a while. Yeah, they've got um, the on August. On the 23rd, they're going to be away playing against the Midway Marauders. Um, and that's going to be an exciting challenge. The Raiders lost to 22 to 6 last time they played the Marauders. So August 13th is when they're back home. And it's also going to be alumni at Historic Horlick Field. Uh, the game starts at 7, and they'll be taking on the Leyden Lions. You know, I just heard about some really good news from all of you. Uh, Sap Sap, it's a restaurant. The owner, Alex. Hanasaka Da, is that how you say it, is being honored. <laughs> what's, what's really important is that he's being honored for his humanitarian efforts. Can you tell us a little bit about his work? Yeah, Alex Hanasakta, um, you had it mostly right. Um, he's got a lot of irons in the fire. And um, first thing I want to mention is his work to help increase awareness of the undetonated bombs in Laos. Uh, for nine years, from 1964 to 73, the United States carried out Operation Barrel Roll, where they dropped bombs every eight minutes, 24 hours a day over the territory of Laos. Um, so two million tons were dropped, and over 30% of their country is still uncovered in, or excuse me, they're still covered in undetonated bombs. Mm. So um, he works very hard to actually raise money for this and to bring awareness to um, people that just have no idea that that happened. And also he gives back to veterans as well, I hear. Yes, on the local level, Alex provides free meals to veterans uh, from his shop. He also started a GoFundMe called Peng Peng, Feeding Veterans, Feeding Our Community. Peng Peng means to lovingly care for. Um, his dad fought alongside the U.S. troops uh, in Vietnam, and that's a big reason I think his passion is for helping veterans. And he also does a lot with the Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin and strongly encourages people to do the same. It's a great organization with a really strong program for our local vets. And one thing I want to make sure to point out is that Alex is appreciative and humbled by this honor, but he shared with our writer, Emma, I just cook food. It's more important that we can help those that need it. Those are the real heroes. That's All of really the nice. efforts that I mentioned are linked in the article on our website if anybody wants to get involved with those. You know, something with your business spotlight was very cool. I heard about neuroadvantage rehabilitation. Many people just suffer in silence with many debilitating diseases. It provides a unique niche in the rehabilitation world, correct? Yes, absolutely. It's a brand new facility. I mean, they purchased and assembled and built and painted everything you see in the pictures. Um, this team, Elizabeth and Megan, are wonderful people. They focus on rehabilitation for those with neurological issues rather than like a sports medicine type of physical therapy clinic. Um, they have what you would call traditional patients as well, but they offer something unique on the neurologic centric side of physical therapy. Like those with MS. <clears throat> yes, MS, Parkinson's, concussions, inner ear issues. I know you said dizziness earlier, mm -hmm. all of those things. Wow, that's really cool. We really appreciate you, all of your time. Lauren Lamoureux with the Wisconsin Racine County Eye. We appreciate you talking to us on the news at four, as always. And you can go and check out these stories and other news making headlines in Racine County. Just head to the Racine County 
iWebpage.